Hey guys, Sponge Murphy here. So all throughout this week, I completely forgot about this guy. I haven't even had a lot of time to even look at him. Uh, this week's pre-order, as well as the Electro Priest, we have the Adaptus Mechanicus Te Tech Priest Dominus. Now when I first seen this guy, uh, I couldn't help notice the high price tag of 29 euro. Um, and immediately I thought that's too much. Um, and then he's probably like, the Marnius Calgar of Adaptus Mechanicus is probably like the highest HQ choice in it or something like that. But you know, I I really can't see how one single model can I think you know you know at that size he's not very massive, like at least with when I bought Marnius Calgar a few years ago, it was fifty euro I think. But you got the honor guard with him, you know. 13 euro nearly this is a little bit pricey but um but apart from that let's just you know put that to the side and have a look at this guy um this is a multi-part kit as well from what i can read on the bottom of it a uh, multi-part 20 component plastic kit so it's pretty cool that way um that is multi-part for you know like a single unit or a a single figure miniature like a HQ one you don't see that a whole lot and thank god we have a 360 view on this so um, um one of the things I really like about this guy he has so much going on he has so much metal so much things and everything but he still kind of has that look where he's kind of you know floating like he's like a spirit you know it's the robe that does it he looks so light like he can just float around but yet he has like the legs sticking out from under the robes. If the view, there you go. If I can zoom in, you know you can still see the legs sticking out at the bottom. Uh, like he's using the walk around that. Um, he has the same backpack that the Electro Priest has, and uh, you know he has like a lot of the wires and stuff, and stuff that you see in the Adaptus Mechanicus. But you know he's great looking. He's nice. He has like a. Uh, Oh man, like, I think this thing is called a Servitor Skull. I don't know if that is one or not. You know, he has like a big weapon here on the side. Um, you know, and he's still kind of, he has like a staff to walk around with. Either that's a weapon or not, I don't know. But it makes him look kind of, you know, like an elder type of looking guy. You know, he's old, he's fragile, but he's still a leader. Um, you know, his face is kind of like a gas mask. You know, kind of looks like he has three eyes there nearly. Um, you know, he has so much going on. He has a... <coughs> sorry. This Dr. Octopus type of claw sticking out. Um, and this staff thing is kind of like an axe top on it. I'll have to change it. There you go. You get at least a better look at it. Um, this kind of like a adaptive mechanics. <coughs> sorry, I can't even talk probably this morning. Adaptus Mechanus um, kind of axe thing staff that he's going around with and then kind of like a communicator device sticking on the side of it so um, you know one side of him looks like an elder like not elder, elder type of leader guy and like one other side looks like he's ready to go out the battle you know with the big gun and the type of axe weapon as well so you know he's nice looking you know he's he looks fragile he looks, oh and even on the side, this is why you love 360 views because you can always spot new stuff. On the side here he has another little arm sticking out, another little mechanical arm. With a, you know, with a pretty nice looking gun. It has a bit of design on it. If this will turn around for me. Yeah, it has a nice little bit of a gold design on it, very nice looking, like a big revolver nearly. Um, I didn't spot that before, that was nice looking. The little robot arm is pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> and then on top of the staff, is that a skull? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, so, and, and the, one of the other things that I'm a bit hitting me, so this guy is just a high price tag. Um, he is nice looking and he's multi-powered. 
components. So, um, the only difference this is like a maybe will this one show a bit? And no, this is what it can look like with. I can fix the zoom on to get a better look with the so called other parts on them. Um, and the only one I can really see for now is just the headpiece. He has more like of a top white hood. Um, the axe looks the same. The staff is near enough the same. He has the big weapon on the side. The weapon is no different. The skull is still there. You know, the stuff on the top of his back is still there. It's all painted differently. And the cloak is painted differently. But it's all the same. You know, the hood is different. And that's pretty much it. The base and the paint job is different. Um, and the head, that's pretty much it. That's a real disappointment. Um, for what, you know, for the price tag of this model. You know, you get a close look at some of the weapons here. Ah, oh, here you go. This is where you can see one of the alternate weapons down here. Um, so whatever that type of weapon is it looks pretty cool so you can change his bright weapon from the big kind of cannon type of gun um, to whatever this weapon is called I'm not sure it is um, <clears throat> everything else here looks the same just get a closer look up of the head the alternate head um, yeah and the head like the face is a little bit different as well you can see that it has a bit of a um, this one looks like a pure type of robot metal face, whereas this one you can see a slight little bit of a like a fleshy face in behind it. If I'll zoom in, maybe you can kind of see it. Full focus. Yeah, you can kind of see it in there a bit. Um, you know, it's small differences, but it's, it's I don't think it represents its price tag. Um, so yeah, so that's it. I'm not going to go on much longer about the Adaptus Mechanicus Tech Priest Dominus. 29 euro, um, too much, too high of a price tag for me, I think. Um, like if I was like really into Adaptus Mechanicus, I probably would get it eventually. But it wouldn't be my top priority. It'd be something I would get if I'm not wanting to get anything else for a while, you know. Um, for something that's multi-part, it's a bit of a disappointment, you know, to try to fog you off a little bit with, um, oh yeah, here it is, multi-part, but it's just a different head, um, and a different paint job. It doesn't even show the alternate weapon in that one. So, um, yeah, that's it. Make sure to leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think about it. Hit the like button, and uh, subscribe. And uh, I'll leave it at that. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.